Now, for what fella was doing, sir? I, I, I was fella's lawyer. And I can tell you here, he's been my most interesting client. <laughs> fella, for many of us, fella had propensity for criminality, for many people. But here was a guy, before, fella will tell you, Femi, I won't commit this offense. Ah, no, now. He said, no. I am going to breach the new colonial law. It's your business to defend me. <laughs> and as far as fella was concerned, he would do it. And one thing I find very interesting, sir, is that he would have done his own work. All you then needed to do as a lawyer was just to look for the lawyer to back up his own defense. Defense that you cannot challenge in any court. And that was how Fela got away with a lot of, you know, uh, violations of the legal system. And as an undergraduate, one of the valuable books I ever came across was How Europe Underdeveloped Africa by Walter Rodney. Now, Fela it was. Fela it was who circulated and publicized that book in Africa. As far as Fela was concerned, that book had to be a compulsory reading for every African undergraduate. You hardly will find such a book now. Fela will come to campuses with lorry load of books. I mean, you can recall, in effect, in our days. Fela in two years delivered about 60 lectures in our campuses in the 80s just to challenge Africans to drop our colonial names, to challenge us, to decolonize my fella for the African soldier. Fella knew soldiers were a danger. And fella told all of us, when soldiers invade a town, they loot, they rape, they steal. And that therefore we have to fight the, the, the army. And that was when fella said, when they knock your head, now from back, now from back, oh, you know, and fella was trying to tell us, and I think what Prof has done today is to put fella in a very beautiful way. How fella will have challenged ITT.